All right, let's take a look at another one. Sample problem two. Mark puts $5,500 into a savings account that earns 1.35% interest compounded quarterly. How long will it take him to have saved $7,200? Okay, once again, I recommend pause the video, give it a try, and then watch the solution and try to figure out where you're understanding or misunderstanding. So let's, let's begin. So when we solve this, we always begin with our generic formula, right? So our b equals b times 1 plus r over n to the power of n p. Now let's identify what we know. So we know that the balance that he hopes to have is the 7,200. Let's highlight that in a different color. So 7,200, that is our b. We know that he's putting in right, depositing original amount, so that's our principal, of 5,500. We also know that his account is earning an interest rate, R, of a 1.35. Remember, when we do this, we always put it as a decimal, so 0 0.0135. And we know that this account is compounding quarterly. So we know that N will be 4, because there are 4 quarters in a year. Now, the only piece of information we do not have is our time, T, how long. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug in what we know. So 7,200 is equal to 5,500 times 1 plus 0 0.0135 over 4 to the power of 4, T. Now, we're going to follow a similar process, almost identical to the previous one, just different numbers. So we're going to begin by simplifying the part inside the parentheses. So I'm going to do 1 plus 0 0.0135 divided by 4. And for the sake of accuracy, we're not going to round. We're going to write it exactly as we see it. So we have a 1.003375. So 1.003375. Seven, five. And the less we round, the more accurate our final answer will be. All right, let's rewrite everything else. So now we're going to begin solving it. So remember, when we solve, we are reversing PEMDAS. So we ask ourselves, is there any addition or subtraction? There is not. Is there any multiplication or division? There is. So we're going to divide both sides by 5,500 because remember, our objective is to isolate the T by removing things, right? Undoing the equation. On the right-hand side, 5,500 divided by 5,500 is 1, so they cancel. And then on the left-hand side, we have 7,200 divided by 5,500, which is about a 1.309. So we're going to write that. And it is repeating, so I cannot write the whole thing. So 1.309. And let's just quickly confirm that 1.309 those match beautiful is equal to a 1.003375 to the power of 4t and i totally understand that it's a little tedious to write these numbers but we are going to write them as is um, because we want to guarantee the accuracy all right so now we're going to take the common logarithm of both sides in order to remove that power, that variable power. So I am going to take the log base 10, or just log, of the 1.309 and our 1.003375 to the power of 4t. Then just a quick reminder, we have our power property, which says that if we take the log of a power, our power jumps out front. So we have the log of 1.309 is equal to 4t times the log of 1.003375. Now remember, we want to get t by itself, so let's go ahead and divide everything that's next to the t that's being multiplied. We're going to divide by 4 times log of 1.003375. We'll do that on both sides of this equation. And at this point, it's all about just calculating. So we're going to grab our calculator, and we have our 1.309, our log of that, 
divided. And remember, we're going to use parentheses around the denominator to guarantee that both parts actually stay in the denominator when we calculate. And then we're going to peek up here and just make sure that it looks like we want, and it matches this, and then we're going to hit enter. We can see that the time is about 19.979. And I would argue that this is very close to 20 years. Okay, so I'm going to put about 20 years. Now, is it exactly 20 years? No. But let's go ahead and let's check and see kind of how it looks. So we know we started with 5,500, 1.35 quarterly. So 5,500, uh, 1.35 quarterly. And we are hoping that our answer is really, really close to 20 years. So let's check, 20 years. We got right here, $7,201.53. And we wanted 70, $7,200 or 7,200. I would argue it's very close. Now, obviously, if we choose the answer that we got, was it a 19.9? That's just under. 19.97 is just under. So I'm totally okay with saying to my customer, if I'm working at a bank, that in 20 years, they will have the amount that they hope for.